All right, I am going to start with the ERD design of pizza. This assumes that you've looked at the normalization um, video and at the uh, the Google Slides for normalization and relational structure. So we're going to leave customer okay. I think customer is fine here, and I think employee is fine here. Uh, we'll start by looking at pizza. All right, so this isn't bad. A pizza can have a different crust, a different sauce, a different size, different sides. You might want lookup tables for those. So what I'm going to do is we're going to make the pizza a little more complicated. So I am going to do um, crust. So this will be a list of the different types of crusts that a pizza could have. So I'm going to do a crust ID Actually, I've been using key, so let's do key. Uh, crust, crust type. Um, and I'm going to make that a PK. And I'm going to delete that and delete that. All right, so we have a crust. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change this crust to a crust key. And there will be a relationship between crust and key. Right, so one pizza will have a dip one kind of crust. Sauce is probably just one too. So I'm going to do another one, and I'm going to um, do sauce, and this will be a list of all the different kinds of sauce. I'll do a sauce key and a sauce uh, name. If you wanted, you could add things like the sauce description. Um, but I'm just going to do those two. I think I will delete that one. Go up here and delete that one too. All right, so one crust can be on many different kinds of pizzas, and one sauce can be on many different kinds of pizzas. And I'm going to change this to sauce key. Okay. So these are lookup tables. A lookup table just gives you a list of different things. So the size could also be a lookup table. So I'm just going to drag this up here. There will be different sizes. And so I'm going to do a size key. Um, size uh, description. I'm not sure what to do there and we'll make this a PK and we will delete the last one and we will get rid of the key part here okay so again a size key now sides is a different matter remember normalization um, size sides are multiple all right so we need to I'm going to do a list of sides so I'm going to say sides and we'll call it sides key actually let's make it singular and we'll do side name and we'll do side price, maybe the price for the size. Side price. Not sure about that one. Oh, I'm going to delete the name, the key there, and delete the price. Now, because there's multiple sides, we need to create, this is a mini-to-mini. -mini. Each pizza can have many sides. Each side can be on many pizza. Pizzas. Actually, so let's do these as toppings. That's what I meant. I said side, but I meant toppings. Uh, so let's change that to topping key. Topping name. Assuming that some prices, okay. So I am going to make this instead of sides. That's meant to be toppings. So I'm going to do 
we're going to actually remove it from there altogether because we need a linking table many to many one one pizza can have many toppings one topping can be on many pizzas so i'm going to say pizza and toppings pizza toppings and we'll do a pizza key and a topping key This will be a primary key and a foreign key. And this will be a primary key and a foreign key. And this will go away. All right. So, topping key matches to topping. And pizza, whoa, just want the thing. Pizza to pizza. All right, these are foreign keys too. We might as well mark them. But right now I'm going to leave uh, the price in there as is. Not sure if that's the ideal place for it, but we'll do that. All right, so that's our pizza. That describes a pizza. Now, when it comes to an order, all right, so we've got an order key, an order date, an order time, a customer key. Uh, we should have an employee key. I'm going to do an employee key. And a delivery method. I think all of those are fine. I'm going to delete that. Delete that. This will be a foreign key. And the employee key will be in a foreign key and delivery method. We could um, make a lookup table of delivery methods. So let's do that. And let's get rid of uh, this and we'll put a key on the end of that. You can drag these a little wider like this. So I'm going to create a little lookup entity of delivery methods. Um, and we'll do a delivery. All right, I'll make that a little bit wider and delivery method name we'll just call it that and then I'm going to get rid of this and I'm going to get rid of that all right and so this can match to here employee can match to here and customer can match to here all right Notice there's no connection between order and pizza yet. Let's do one other thing here, which wasn't in the original, but let's just do a list of sides. This time I do mean sides, like drinks and etc. I'm going to do a side PK, or a side key. PK. And we're going to do a side... Um, name maybe a side type you know and let's add one more field here which would be side price okay so we have some sides there so an order is going to be pizzas and it's going to be sides but an order can have many pizzas, right? And it can have many sides. So what I'm going to do is create a linking table, right? So I'm going to say pizza order. And I'm going to, um, 
pizza key and order key. I'm also going to add quantity because they might have more than one pizza of a particular kind. PK, FK, PK, FK. These are composite keys, remember. Quantity is not. Okay, so I'm going to move that up a little. I'm going to move order over. I'll move that over. I'm just trying to get it a little bit. So from the pizza, I'm going to move from pizza key down to here, right? And we'll do order key from here, here to here. Okay, so one order can have many pizzas. But you have to break that out if you're going to allow multiple pizzas on an order. Now exactly the same thing happens with sides, right? So you want, um, I'm going to say side orders. I'm going to add the pizza up here. Just spell it right. All right. So we're going to have the order key, pizza key, uh, side key rather. And I'm also going to do quantity. And this will be PKFK. So both a primary key and a foreign key. And again, it's a composite key. Uh, quantity isn't a key. So it would be sides to side and order. Uh, I don't think it'll let me draw from there. So we'll just do it from here. Um, I need to change that. Uh, that's not what I asked for. I wanted that. There we go. All right, that is our whole pizza for what I'm going to do. I mean, there's all sorts of other things that you can do. Um, but this is it. So let me talk through it again. So these are lookup tables. That means that they're just lists of different crust types, sauce names, size sizes, uh, you know, toppings. These are lookup tables that we're connecting to the pizza. You don't have to have these, but they do help ensure consistency. So these are lookup tables. This is a main one and it has all the different kinds of things. Toppings is a little different because one pizza can have many toppings and each topping can be on many pizzas. So we need a linking table. Whenever there's a many to many relationship we have to have a linking table. Same is true of an order. One order can have many pizzas. One pizza type of pizza can be on many different orders. So we need a linking table. Same with sides. One side can be on many orders, and one order can have many different sides. But every method has one delivery method. We're assuming that one employee is the main employee on that, and we're assuming that one customer is the customer for that. So this is my diagram. I am going to do some decorating. You don't have to do this, but just to show that it can be done. So I'm doing these as alternate rows of different colors. Sometimes that makes it easier to read. You have to okay and then I'm going to um, shade the header just because I like that. You can do all sorts of other things with this but this is all I'm going to do and then I will close this video now one other thing I'll say this is really complicated right we have taken a simple thing like ordering a pizza and broken it up into several different tables 
uh, and they all have these different relationships. One to many, one to many. They're all one to many relationships though that we've developed. So, uh, what else do I want to say about that? Notice that I, nowhere did I list, like in here, I didn't list the different sauces. I only gave a sauce name. I didn't list the different kinds of crust. I only did a, the crust type. I didn't list the different sizes. I just gave a description of the size. You do not want the data in these. These are the headings that will go at the top of the rows in the tables. All right, so I'm going to, while I'm here, I'll save this with a name. I'm just going to give it a name. Um, pizza ERD. I think I might already have one with that name, but we're letting it be. Okay, so I'm going to stop the video.